Thanks for tuning in to this Markets.com company profile of the Hewlett Packard Company, better known as HP. I'm your host, Luisana Swaygard. Founded in 1933 by Bill Hewlett and David Packard, HP's headquarters are located in Palo Alto, California. Approximately 312,000 employees work for HP, which has a market capitalization over $122 billion and operates worldwide. The company is composed of the following segments. Enterprise storage and servers, HP services, HP software, the personal systems group, the imaging and printing group, HP financial services, and corporate investments. HP is run by CEO Mark Hurd and CFO Catherine Lefjack. Moving on to the market, HP is traded on the New York, Frankfurt, Lima, and Mexican stock exchanges. The major indexes it is listed on are the Dow Industrials and the S&P 500. Let's take a look at HP's reported financials for 2007. Reported revenues came in at $104 billion and net earnings came in at $7 billion. As we take a look at the balance sheet, total assets were over $88 billion, while liabilities were $50 billion, with equities at $12.6 billion. The debt-to-equity ratio of the firm was sitting at 0.265. On December 31, 2007, the stock closed at $50.48, and as of September 2nd, 2008, it was priced at $45.89. In 2007, HP paid $846 million in dividends to its shareholders. Moving on to operations, HP offers products in computer hardware, computer software, computer peripherals, IT, and consulting. The vision for growth at HP is multifaceted. They wanted to take advantage of several opportunities and increase revenue while cutting costs. Everyone can see the digital explosion that is going on all around us, and HP believes it can provide both hardware and software to allow users to access all of that content. Besides the growth in digital media, there is also the growth in the emerging economies. HP is specifically targeting BRIC nations to grow revenue and capture market share. The last part of the strategy is growing the service side of their business. They took a great step in achieving this by purchasing EDS, which adds more economies of scale if they can integrate into their business. Since Mark Hurd took over a couple of years ago, HP has had a very good run, being now the number one PC maker in the world. The growth in revenue and profits in the last couple of quarters has been exceptional when you think of it in terms of the American slowdown. However, for a few months, we have seen chinks in the armor, the main one being the slowdown in printer sales. You must remember that HP is known for great printers and the great cash flows from ink sales. Also, the weak dollar was really boosting their numbers, but now that sale has a little less wind, which should affect their numbers in the next couple of quarters. Overall, this is definitely another company that is positioned well to grow, but could be in trouble in what is looking to be a more pronounced global slowdown. And that brings us to the end of this Markets.com company profile of HP. I'm your host, Luisana Swagart. Thanks for watching. Thank you.